Good afternoon, scholars and mathematicians. Uh, we have a lot going on this week, so I think we should get started. I am going to let you know uh, what is going on. I'm going to share it with you right now. Okay. Um, all right. So important information for this week. Tonight's homework is going to be lesson 18 video notes. That's what we're doing right now. Um, it's what we worked on in class and just mainly those essential questions. Tonight's homework is also to make sure that you have your study guides because we are trying to play the unfair game tomorrow. And you'll definitely want to make it a little bit more fair for yourself if you have your study guides um, and also for the capture the flag. So you should have study guide one, study guide two. Um, and if you did not get one today in school, um, then uh, I will send your parents, um, you know, uh, PDF. Okay, so tomorrow is the unfair game. I can't wait to see what prizes you are going to want. It's some crazy, really silly ones. Wednesday's capture the flag. And then Thursday is our unit three test. Um, it's on multiplying and dividing fractions. And then Friday, we start brand new with a new unit and it's wrapping it all up, uh, multi-digit multiplication division. Okay, um, stakes are pretty high because I know we wanna do well um, because maybe we want or don't want uh, work over the, the break. I don't know. I don't ever mind things like that, but okay. Um, I do have a joke for today. I do have a joke. Maybe it's up here on this, one of these things. Let's see. <laughs> um, goodness gracious. No, I'll find the joke in a little bit. And then there it is. Okay. No, it must be here. I'm really excited about this one. Not really loading. All right, sorry. Hopefully you were able to fast forward, but I'm gonna share this screen even though it's not loading because as soon as it loads, you'll see. Oh my goodness, it says literally reload. So annoying. Okay, either way, I'll start talking about the, the joke because it's funny. Okay, is this not, it's not loading at all? Let me go back. Anyway, um, if you know what it means to, um, like say you um, are one religion, and um, and a lot of times, like some religions, not all religions, but some religions, um, you know, require you to have uh, the same religion, like when you get married. So something I saw in the joke land was this. Let me show you it. It's going to be hard to see, but we're going to do our best. Okay, share Okay, and all right, so it's up here and it's over to the right. I'm gonna try to make it bigger. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyways, it's over here to the right where it says, here, I'll use the annotation. It's over here. It is right here. Okay, so it says, why was the fraction skeptical about marrying the decimal? So again, there's a fraction there. And the fraction is skeptical um, about marrying the decimal. And guess who says something? Oh, the little pi, I mean, the equal sign says, because he would have to convert. <laughs> I need to me. let me just get rid of this pink thing so I can see it. Where's the eraser? Okay. But yes, here we go. Because he would have to convert. <laughs> Sorry, that took a long time. Hopefully you got a joke. I mean, you got a laugh out of that. Okay, we got some work to do. I'm gonna stop sharing that. I'm gonna switch the screen to the camera and we've got a lot of work to do. Oh, the camera, okay. Okay, I'm like my brain is glitching. All right, I know that you like me to have it a little bit larger. So, 
All right, here we go. All right. We worked on this problem together today or something with Diego and Claire. I don't know where Han has been, but oh no, actually we did see Han today. He was in some of our problems, but okay. So today we definitely represented situations using both multiplication and division because of that thought of how the, um, well, the division turns into a lot of the multiplication, um, but you have to make sense of what number goes first. And that's the dividend, the thing that we have to split up. Diego and Claire are equally sharing uh, a fourth pound of potato salad. So that's why we start with that. And then if they're equal share, it's divided by two, which means I'm getting half of my amount of potato salad. All right. Um, we do have some standard algorithm multiplication practice. We're just gonna fly through it because I gave us some uh, numbers that we can work with and there is no renaming, but I'm excited to work on renaming on Friday. Uh, 66, 22, six times two, that is 12. I do have to rename there. Two times six, 12, 13 on X one zero, goodbye. Two times six is 12, splitting it up again. Two times six, 12 plus one more, 13, two, two, two nine, four, one. 45, 22, 10, eight, nine, done, done. Zero. Two times five, 10, eight, nine, zero, nine, nine. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to head down to this one. 99, 11, nine, nine, zero, nine, 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 18, one, zero. Okay. And I'm going to go around 88 times 23. I'm, I'm doing this swiftly. So you can just check your answers. We're going to do this like, um, you know, full stop in class Friday. And then, you know, for the next month, division and multiplication, but with digit multi-digit numbers, three times eight is 24 to five, 26 done, done 16, 16, 17, 10, 14, 2, 3, 4. Okay. 55, 11, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 10, 6. Okay. All right. So here's our answers 352, 1,492, number 3, 990, 4 is 605, 5 is 1,089. And six is 440. All right, so let's work on lesson 18. All right, Shana has eight yards of ribbon. That's probably my starting number. If she uses a half yard of ribbon to make one bow, ooh, one bow lets me know I'm probably going to be dividing here with that one. How many bows can she make using all eight yards? So if I have eight yards divided by a half yard, um, one of my yards, this is one yard is one half, one half, it has two bows. So if each yard is two bows, I have eight yard, I'm gonna have 16 bows. Oh, I hope that's not an emergency. Okay, Um. well, here we go. Eight divided by one half, that works. It says select all and eight times two, which is 16. Okay, we can't just put the number there and not have the expression back it up. Anyway, um, so yes, 16 bows, word problem, word answer, here we go. A container that can hold two thirds pounds of blueberries. So here's my like full container, right? And it's three fourths full. So technically I have like two thirds it, it holds this, that's the maximum, but it's only like three fourths full. Yikes, that's probably pretty tricky. Let's see what happens if I can write an expression. Three fourths of two thirds. Okay. Also imagine if I, I made the area model. Three fourths. Okay. So that's here. Let me see if I have another figure. So slow today. Okay. Here, three fourths, okay, and then two thirds, right? Two thirds this way. 
Okay, so this area here is, let's see what it's going to be. Maybe it's going to be 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Yes. 3 fourths times 2 thirds, 6 twelfths. And that's technically 1 half. So 1 half pounds of blueberries. I love blueberries. Love, 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 love blueberries. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, next page. Charlie's dad is making burgers for the whole family barbecue. Five pounds of beef in the package. So like immediately I'm thinking five pounds. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what I'm going to be using. One third pound of beef per burger. I'm thinking division five divided by one third. I'm asking myself how many Sorry, how many one thirds in one, and then how many one thirds in five? Oh, three times five. I'm going to get 15 burgers. Word problem has a word answer. Thirds, 15 burgers. Okay. A pitcher holds half a gallon of iced tea. If four friends equally share the iced tea, how much iced tea will each friend get? All right, here's my pitcher. It's holding a half. And then there are four friends equally sharing the iced tea. Do, do, do. So that friend, one friend, one serving is going to be one out of, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be one eighth, so it's one half divided by four. I'm going to get one fourth, excuse me, I'm going to get one fourth of the one half that's there because I'm dividing by four, right? And so that's one eighth of the container. Word problem has a word answer. All right. Juliana, she ran a two and three, two and sorry, four and two thirds mile loop three times to prepare for the upcoming marathon. That's definitely not enough. Because, oh, half marathon, maybe half marathon is 13.1 miles because a full marathon is 26.2 miles. I trained for that, but in 2012, Superstorm Sandy came and uh, they canceled the marathon. And so I never got to run, but um, my niece just ran two weeks ago. It's awesome. All right, so we have four and two thirds times three, cause she's doing that three times. So technically I can do repeated addition or multiplication. Um, so let's do multiplication. I'm gonna see that I need to do four times three plus two thirds times three. 12 plus two times three is six over three. Ooh, that's two, 14 miles. Oh, that was actually a good thing then what she did here, Juliana. She ran 14 miles in prep for her half marathon. I've run a half marathon before. Oh, so sorry. Let me show you what I was talking about there. Okay. So I know I was trying to rush, uh, but you can go back and please like make any of the um, video slower or whatever it is that you need um, to work for you. And um, please come tomorrow with your, hold on, come tomorrow with your study guides because let me see if it's on this one. Doo, doo, doo. I bet you it is. Okay. Nope. That's just today's work. I don't know what's happening today with my screen sharing ability. Anyways, yes. Regardless, we are um, preparing for our test. It is Thursday. Um, take advantage of the time and um, I hope you have a good night. If you need anything, please let me know. See you tomorrow for the unfair game. <laughs>